Hey guys, it's Amanda from Miracles Fitness coming to you with a workout. This is with or without equipment. And remember, try to be creative. If you don't have weights at home, you can always use a small child, a pet, or some really heavy soup cans. So be creative, find what you have in your house to add weight to an exercise, or body weight is always going to give you a great challenge. All right, so first make sure you're warmed up. So take a couple minute walk outside around your house, find some stairs, or you can always use a stick or a rolling pin at home or a foam roller to just get the blood flowing to your muscles. Once you're warmed up for a couple minutes, you're gonna go into some ladder drills. You don't need a ladder at home. You can even put uh, masking tape down on the floor or be creative and just use your imagination. So you'll start with 30 seconds, four to eight drills. So remember things like we do in groups and one-on-one, -on -one, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. You can do two feet going laterally, back and forth. So be creative, 30 seconds for those drills. All right, once you do four to eight of those, you are going to go into a goblet squat and a push-up circuit. So two exercises, three rounds of each. For a goblet squat, you'll hold your dumbbell up at shoulder height. I'll show you from this side as well. Make sure you're hinging from your hips as you lower down. You should feel this in your glutes and hamstrings. You're going to do 12 goblet squats. If you don't have weight, of course, hinging from those hips, 12 reps. And then you're going to alternate with push-ups, body weight push-ups using a chair. Or of course, you can do these on the floor. Make sure you keep those hips up and you do this without straining your neck. So three rounds, 12 goblet squats, 10 push-ups. Next, you're gonna go into a one-leg deadlift. You can do this with or without weight, but make sure your form is great before you add weight. So quick reminder, one-leg deadlift, hinging from those hips, keeping your hips level. Make sure you're not rotating up, but keeping those hips in a nice straight line. We get 10 reps per side. If you wanna add weights, you can add them in both hands, in one hand, see what works best for you. You're gonna alternate your one leg deadlift with a band row. So give yourself enough resistance on the band, step your feet so that the handles are uh, equal distance from your feet, and then alternate one arm up. You're gonna do 20 reps total. So 10 per arm. So your second circuit is a one leg deadlift and a band alternating row. 12 rep, or 10 reps per side for your deadlift, 20 reps total for your rows. Your third circuit, it's got three exercises. First is bridge skull crushers. So for this, you will need two dumbbells. You'll lift into a bridge. Arms are starting straight over towards the ceiling. Hinging at your elbow, you should feel this in the back of your arm. You'll get 12 reps here. Then, set your weights down, you'll come right back up for an alternating lunge. You're gonna get 10 reps per side. Make sure those hips stay level, you don't want one side to drop. And make sure that back knee is going straight down, front knee staying right over that ankle. You should feel this in your glutes and hamstrings as well. After that, you'll finish this circuit with a dumbbell curl. Nice and simple, and you'll get 12 reps. So circuit three, bridge skull crushers, alternating reverse lunges, dumbbell curl. 12 skull crushers, 20 lunges total, 12 curls total. You're gonna finish this workout with a Tabata. Remember, Tabata, 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest, repeat for eight total rounds. You're doing two exercises here, so it's gonna be four rounds of the first, four rounds of the second. So you've got burpees as your first, so do 20 seconds of burpees. Remember, reach or jump up, come down with your hands in between your feet, jump or step back here, and repeat. So 20 seconds, set a timer, set your microwave timer, use what you have. Second will be a moving plank. So this will be done on your palms. You'll take a couple paces to your right, and then you'll move a few paces back to your left. I just do three and three to keep it simple. So four rounds of burpees, four rounds of your moving plank, 20 seconds each. All right, don't forget to cool down. I'm already out of breath and have a great workout.